Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Allison and I'm dropping in to share with you days one and two of my Design With Me December Daily Album. If you're not interested in sticking around for the design portion of this video, jump ahead to about five minutes and that's where you'll find the process video for days one and two of my album. The design portion of it is actually going to be for day five in my album, which I'll be creating in a couple of days. So my idea for this design was to create a tag. I wanted to make a tag that had a pocket in it that I could put the pictures in. And I realized that there are two circles at the bottom of the tag. And if I rotated it, I could use those circles to put the tag in, but I didn't want a horizontal orientation. I wanted to keep it vertical. So I will be punching more holes along the left hand side of the tag when it's cut and made. Um, and that is because the three by four pictures that I'm going to be adding to this pocket are going to be in the vertical orientation and not horizontal. So they would stick out too much um, if I had the tag the other way. So I'm just leaving it like this. So the way I'm creating the, the pocket portion of this tag is I used the shapes function to create a rectangle and I sized it to what I needed. I changed the color to red and actually I changed this a little bit later on in the video, but um, I'll explain more when I get there. So the idea would be to put the pictures in that pocket and of course, I needed to design or bling up the pocket portion of the tag. So I'm going back and looking up the word Mary. And I came across Be Mary, the Mary Circle, and Mary and Bright. And actually, Mary and Bright ended up being the winner. I really liked the way that it looked other than the other two. Um, and I'm also looking up my snowflake again. So I'll be adding another snowflake to this page as well. It'll be... Oh, I choose the teal and the purple snowflakes. I'll pull them off to the side to separate them. Click on one of the images over to the right hand side. And that unsticks them so that you can move each image independently. I'm also going to change the color of this circle snowflake to white. And oh, actually gray. And I think I play around with the size off camera to get it to where I want it to be. So now I'm using the text function to make my number. Today is number five, and I'm just going to adjust the size of that too. I make it smaller, but I think in the end it ends up being just a tiny little bit bigger. Um, to do that, you unclick the lock on the bottom left hand side of the image, and then you can use the four arrows to stretch it and lengthen it to what size you want or make it smaller. And then once you're happy with that size, hit the lock again and that'll keep it that size and you won't accidentally change the size when you're trying to do something else. So just like every other page in this album, there is going to be a little sticker or phrase or something that's going to go over top of the number. So I'm just working on that right now. There are some pauses while I'm creating this because Ava was being a nuisance. She wanted to cuddle with mom. And so I had to take time to put her off my desk every time she jumped up. So here I decided to change the pocket portion of my tag. I looked up snowflakes again and found this snowflake overlay. I don't actually think I'm going to use this in the finished product. Um, I might because I do move the red piece that I originally created back behind it so that it has sort of a like a peekaboo effect. But I started thinking after I designed this that maybe just stamping snowflakes on a piece of white or even mint cardstock would look really pretty. Maybe I could heat emboss it um, or just stamp it in a tone on tone effect. I haven't totally decided yet, but that may be something that I do. And the flip side of the tag, so I made the 
image twice by selecting the duplicate function, which is in the top right hand of the screen. Um, the back side of the tag is going to be reserved for my journaling. So I'm going to type the word journal out a couple of times using the text function, and then I will duplicate it as many times as I want, get it sized to obviously where I want it. I'll group all of those together so they become one image. And that function is in the top right as well. And then I'll plunk that on the back side of the tag and then add the snowflake and um, holly. So now comes the fun part, obviously the assembly. I cut a red striped overlay with my Cricut. You can see me gluing that to the bottom portion of my cardstock right now. I should mention I'm using full sheets of 12 by 12 white cardstock to create the base pages in my layout. I'm actually trimming them, first of all, in half. So that they're six by 12 and I'll have two of them. And then I end up cutting each of those to six by eight. So the pieces that are left over are actually four by six inches and they will come in handy as I continue putting this album together because I'll be able to use them for different things like maybe inserts or even on the pages like you'll see me doing a little bit later here um, in the page, the base pages that I'm working on. So all of the cardstock that I'm using is actually going to be put to use and not set to the side. So I'm inking all the edges once again in Pebble ink. I inked the edges of the snowflake as well. I decided to mat it on a piece of scrap white cardstock just so that the red striped border wouldn't show from behind it. I thought that would end up being a little too distracting. So I put it on white cardstock, glued it all together, and then put the number one on top of it for day one. I used some craft foam to add some height to that. I did the same thing with those little snowflakes as well, just so that the the red wouldn't show um, in the centers of those flowers. So like I was saying earlier, or the snowflakes, pardon me. So like I was saying earlier about using the four by six pieces that were left over, this is an ideal example. I wanted to create a flip up in, on this page, and that's a four by six flip flap from close to my heart that I used. And I used that extra piece of four by six cardstock so that it would hide the sticky portion of the flip flap um, behind paper so that you wouldn't see it when you turn the page over. Now the pages could be stuck together like the base pages when I'm done but I just thought this would add a little bit more um, weight to this page as well so that things um, lay nicely basically. I'm using liquid glue to adhere my snowflakes down, just the little ones, and I adhered the one snowflake to the outside of the flip flap. That does work, you are able to do that. Just make sure you use a strong enough adhesive to um, keep it there. I think this glue is strong enough to do that. If not, you could use close to my heart liquid glass or another strong adhesive. Now I pulled out a Heidi Swap stamp set that I got actually with a um, paper issues kit. I want to say last year, but it might have actually been the early part of this year too. And I stamped out special delivery. Day one is all about our elf um, coming to visit for Christmas. She comes December 1st every year and spends all of December with us. So day one is going to be all about our little scout elf and that's why I thought special delivery uh, would work so well. That is actually going to replace the um, little strips of paper in my design. That's what these are meant for. So it's gonna, it could be like a Tim Holtz phrase sticker. It could be something stamped. It could be a couple of phrase stickers. Um, just whatever strikes my fancy. I also decided I wanted to add some bling to this page as well. So I pulled out some glitter gems that I've had in my stash for quite a while. They're also close to my heart. I will link all of the products that I used 
in the description box down below. Um, and I'll also leave the link to my Close to My Heart shop as well so you can shop the entire website and look for whatever it is you need to stock up on. A little tip for when you were stamping, I wanted to create a, a plaid background again so I did that using Pebble ink. To keep your paper from moving around, use a little bit of washi tape to adhere it to your work surface. That way the paper doesn't come along with you when you lift your stamp up accidentally and then make boo-boos that way. <laughs> uh, you'll notice that I did make a little boo-boo sort of halfway down, maybe three quarters of the way down on the stamping portion. Um, but it actually, it gets hidden so you don't really see too much of it after the snowflake circle is added to the top. Uh, I wasn't paying too, attention, too much attention to where I was stamping and <laughs> stamped a little too closely to each other. Which is fine. I mean, it happens. It's, you're hardly going to notice it. So I just rolled with it and kept on going. I'm adding number two now to this page. Day two is going to be about our advent calendars. So there will be two three by four inch pictures that will be added to the bottom portion of this page. Um, I think I might include journaling on top of the pictures. Maybe I will print it out and then cut it into strips or I will stamp it and then cut it into strips and adhere those right on top of the pictures. Um, every year when our scout elf comes for December, she brings advent calendars along with her. And that is one of our traditions every year at Christmas. So I used the word traditions from the Heidi Swap stamp set that I used for page one. Um, and I used mint ink to stamp it, but it's so light, it's really hard to read. So if I think I do any more stamping in like a mint colored ink, I'll maybe use um, sea glass or I will use maybe even glacier um, or even lagoon, just something that is a little darker so it's easier to see. Uh, mint ink is available from close to my heart, but sea glass is not. Um, so just FYI on, on that. I decided that I should maybe add some, a border to where I'm going to add the journaling on page one. So I went back and did that and I'm done. Here's the close-ups. I know I didn't include close-ups yesterday, but I've got them today. I hope this inspired you and I hope you join me again for day three and four. I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.